welcome to Sunday school. I've kind of lost count of what week we're on now, but it's too many. Um, these videos are wearing me out, and I would much, much rather be with you all here at the church. But we don't know how much longer of this that we have. So here we are this morning. And I know that whenever we did our Bible study on Wednesday, we talked a little bit about Philippians chapter 3. And I highlighted verse 13, talking about how we can um, have hope in the future and how we can move forward, even though we're in a time that um, is kind of harmful and hurtful and we don't know what's next. So I'm going to read a little bit more of Philippians 3 and including that verse 13, and then we're just going to talk about that for a little bit. So Philippians 3, and it's verses 12 through 16. Not that I have already attained this or have already reached the goal, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but this is one thing I do, forgetting what lies ahead Forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. Let those who then are mature be of the same mind. And if you think differently about anything, this too God will reveal to you. Only let us hold fast to what we have attained. So this is really talking to us about what our goals are in life. And I know we touched on that a little bit on Wednesday, just that the seniors that are graduating, they feel like a goal has been taken away from them, that they aren't, um, they aren't able to walk at graduation and get their diploma, and that's something they've worked so hard to attain. And looking forward, though, what are some goals that you all have? So think about some things that you all want to accomplish in your life, whether that's making a sports team or having a certain goal in that sport or simply graduating high school that can be tough enough as it is or being able to be an honor graduate or just whatever it is for you and think about those goals in relationship to your relationship with Jesus and Paul really measures maturity by how well people are able to stick to the goal and commitment of following Christ all the way. So mature people are, they, they just focus more on who Jesus is for them. And whether that's your age, whether it's my age, whether it's older than us, that we are always conscious of who Jesus is and who God is to us and puts them in that conversation with us whenever we're trying to figure out what's next. So Paul says that the goal the goal that guides his life is to know Christ and the power of his resurrection. And he says that a few verses earlier from where we started to read. And to know Christ and know the power of his resurrection. So we just celebrated that. We just celebrated the resurrection of Jesus through Easter. And we are still doing that through this Easter season that we are in up until Pentecost when um, the Holy Spirit has descended down on the world. And we are now trying to figure out what it means to be resurrection people. And we have to figure out how we know Jesus first, I think, and what, what the power of his resurrection is for us. And that's individually, that's something different for everybody. That's why Pastor Stephen did the sermon series called Jesus Is, because everyone has a different way to fill in that blank. And so I have three questions for us to think about. So just reflect on these in your devotional time that I hope that you all are taking and truly just think about what who Jesus is being for you in this time, but then also beyond now. So one is knowing Christ and the power of his resurrection, the goal that guides your life. So that is like Paul, are you are you truly worshiping God in Jesus and thinking about how Jesus is involved in your life. The second one is, how are you moving forward in your pursuit of your goals? So this is all your goals, not just the one to know Jesus more and to have him be an integral part of your life, but how are you able to move forward in pursuing every goal that you have in your life? And it doesn't matter whether it's a middle school goal or a high school goal or even 
whoever's watching this video, it could be an adult goal. You can you have goals all throughout your life. At every stage of your life, you have a goal. So think about those in relationship to your in in relationship to your relationship with Jesus. And the third question is: If you are a follower of Jesus, how does your daily life show that you are committed to Him? So that is, how are you being a disciple? And we've talked about that before. And I think I talked about it last week. I think it was last week, the week before, or something like that. So we are able to know who a follower of Jesus is by what they do and how they do it. So how are you able to show that you are a follower of Jesus? Whether And that's going to be hard, harder now that we are confined in our homes. But you are still able to do things to show people that, that you want to spread love and spread kindness. And just keep, don't, keep on doing that. Keep on being who you are and being, being a person and a child of God. So that is your call this morning that you are able to truly recognize Jesus' presence in your life and how you're able to move forward with that. So, again, we will meet tonight, or not tonight, afternoon at three o'clock with the high schoolers and I the code is the same each week but I'll put it out on Instagram and remind and then on Wednesday again we will meet with middle schoolers so we're going to go back to that schedule for right now I just wanted to give us a break for Easter for you all to truly be with your families even though I know you're always together now but just to be able to commune and to be able to worship together as a family so I love you all and I hope to see you soon and please join in on the Zoom calls. They're really fun, and we play games, so I hope to see you there.